Natural Solutions of North America is looking to clean up the Gulf oil spill. The blowout of the Deepwater Horizon caused significant amounts of oil to pour into the Gulf of Mexico. The currents in the Gulf moved the oil generally eastward, spreading the oil over an area reaching from Galveston, Texas to the Florida Keys. The initial response to the crisis was a dispersant known as Corexit. Corexit binds water molecules to oil molecules. Corexit is a type of poison. Most people understand that at say 50 parts per million, a poison will kill living organisms, like small fish, for example. The more poison, the faster it kills. With corrective, it's the opposite. At 110 parts per million, nothing happens. At 6 parts per million, the fish were dead within 96 hours. At 2 parts per million, they die faster. And at 1 part per million, they die even faster. Corexit becomes more toxic the less concentrated it gets. If the oil had been left to come out on its own, most of it would have risen to the surface. However, Corexit was applied directly at the source of the leak, deep underwater. The water is colder at the bottom than at the top, and there are temperature change zones at different depths called thermoclines. As the oil is combined with the water via the dispersant Corexit, it becomes neutrally buoyant. Some of the oil that is bonded with Corexit is staying at the thermocline instead of floating to the top. As the oil under the water moves towards shore, where the water is much shallower, it encounters more thermoclines and pushes up towards shore from the bottom, not the top. What was a two-dimensional problem is now a three-dimensional problem. What does that mean? Oil at the surface is a lot easier to clean up than oil at various levels deep in the water. Over time, the Corexit will break down and the oil will come to the surface. The oil that is coming out of the pipe is not just light, sweet, crude. The reason it is coming out with such pressure is that there's a high concentration of methane in the oil. Imagine a soda pop bottle shaken up and the bubbles coming up. In this case, the soda is the oil and the bubbles are the methane. At the bottom of the ocean, the methane is combining with the super cold water and forming methyl hydrate crystals. As these methyl hydrate crystals reach the surface, they expand 99 times and evaporate along with the oil water corexit molecules. Then they get carried inland by the wind. At the beaches, the oil comes in sheets and sheens and dissolves concentrate in the water. People going onto the beach carry it back to their homes, unintentionally on their shoes and tires, creating cross-contamination. Amazingly, they are also using landfills to dump oil-soaked material. Here's where Natural Solutions comes in. We have purely green oil clean and a series of proprietary oil-eating microbes that turn oil into fish food. The application of the purely green on the beach can be used to clean sand, people, and vehicles, cutting down the risk of cross-contamination. An interesting effect of the purely green is that it also has the ability to knock methane gas back down into the water. Our oil-eating microbes can be applied to beach, or mangrove forests, or waterways like the Mississippi Delta, and they will eat the oil, turning it into fish food. What about the methane, which is explosive? The oil-eating microbes will eat that too, turning it into fish food. Where else does the methane, oil, water, corrected gas get carried? In hurricane season, it gets pushed far inland, and the combination of oil and corrected will fall as toxic rain. As we talked about before, corrected becomes more toxic as its concentration decreases. The longer we permit the evaporation of corrected water molecules, the wider the area of coverage will become and the faster we'll be reaching toxic levels of Corexit with unknown effects on the important food supply areas of the southeastern U.S. The problem doesn't end there. With the oil becoming mixed with the Gulf Stream and progressing beyond the Florida Keys, first the east coast of the U.S. and Canada, then the British Isles and the west coast of France, Spain, Africa, and beyond become affected. Within two to three years, it will have circled the globe. Natural Solutions approach is to use completely non-toxic means to address these issues. Because as my son Alex put so correctly, you won't be able to clean toxic with toxic.